The Oriental Orthodox churches are not the same as Eastern Orthodox, these two not being in communion since the Oriental Orthodox Church is split with the so-called Great Church in AD 451. Years later, the church from which they were divided would itself divide into the Catholic and Eastern Orthodox. On many issues today, though, Oriental Orthodox churches do look quite a bit like the Eastern Orthodox. Both are very liturgical, use iconography, and have seven sacraments. They affirm Christ's true presence in the Eucharist, have infant baptism and veneration of Mary and the saints. The big difference, the one that caused the schism, is that Oriental Orthodox say Christ has one divine human nature, a view called miaphysitism, while Eastern Orthodox say he has two natures, human and divine, called diaphysitism. Some Eastern Orthodox view the Oriental Orthodox as quite heretical for this difference, while others view it as insignificant. They also only affirm the validity of the first three ecumenical councils. Oriental Orthodox churches have more internal diversity and practice between themselves than the Eastern Orthodox churches do. The churches include the Coptic Orthodox, Ethiopian Orthodox, Eritrean Orthodox, Armenian Apostolic Church, and the Malankar Assyrian Orthodox Church in India. These churches don't all have the same Bible canon. For example, the Ethiopian and Eritrean churches have a broader canon of 81 books. These two churches also prohibit eating pork, require male circumcision, and observe both the Saturday Sabbath and Sunday as holy days. Meanwhile, these are not the practices of the other Oriental Orthodox churches. On salvation, Oriental Orthodox teach that God and man work hand in hand for the sake of the common goal of salvation. Oriental Orthodox affirm the bodily assumption of Mary to heaven, but they don't believe in the Immaculate Conception with the exception of some in the Ethiopian and Eritrean churches. Mary is viewed as being personally without sin, however. Oriental Orthodox churches have had discussions about reuniting with the Eastern Orthodox, which with they share much in common, such as no filioque and the Nicene Creed, rejection of the supremacy of the Pope, and more. Click here to watch the two-minute video on the Eastern Orthodox Church, or for a detailed video on what makes Oriental and Eastern Orthodox different, click here.